Hi guys and welcome back to Farmer on Fire channel. This is the channel that gives you all the amazing and modern climate smart agricultural practices for the future. Today we are discussing black soldier fly larvae farming. This is farming worms for the sake of adding them to your livestock feeds, lowering that cost and making sure that your animals are getting the best source of protein. Let's start with the sources of protein in every bag of animal feed comes from either mostly soya, it comes from other um, from fish meal and that kind of thing. These sources are not sustainable. In Kenya, we don't grow soya ourselves. We have to outsource from other countries, making this very expensive. In the wake of Ukraine, climate change, COVID, all these challenges, Farmers have, it has become so hard for farmers to stick to livestock farming, chicken farming, and they have ended up quitting because the bottom line is no longer making sense. But here is an amazing solution. We have BSF larvae. We have the worms. This is the nursery where the worms are hatching into becomes the Insta one. This is the first stage of the life cycle of a fly. So flies go through certain stages and we're interested in the larvae stage there is the pupa the egg and the mature fly the mature fly we're also interested in it we don't harvest everything we let 10 percent of what we grow to get into full ha, flu, full hermetia fly that will give us more eggs we can be able to harvest put them in the hatchery and produce more for our colony. Then 90% of that is sold, costs around 200 shillings per kilo, especially if you're taking in large volumes. This is our love cage. You have to make sure that it is trapped in a netted space where they can fly freely. They do not eat at this stage. They just need a foul smell, some water, spray some water on the net where they can come on the net and drink from it and experience just a good climate and mate and give you eggs. You can create your racks like this. It doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. One creates whole around 10 kilograms of food waste, organic waste. You can get it from the market, reduce those landfills, reduce those carbon emissions uh, caused by methane of those rotting matters going into the atmosphere. It is destroying our ozone layer. So make use of that. Let it give you the BSF. Let it give you the eggs. Let it also give you the frass, which is organic fertilizer. When it's time for harvesting, you can use that net that I'm showing you there. It's called a coffee net. You can get it from a local hardware. And now you start separating the the larvae from the frass, which is the organic fertilizer. Once you sieve that through, you can pack your frass and sell it for around 2,500 per bag of 50 kilos. And then your larvae, you dry it by roasting it lightly. If you have a microwave for, or a dryer for large scale, go ahead and do that. And then it's ground and added into the animal feed formulation. We teach farmers how to formulate their own animal feed so that they can be able to just, you know, have that in their system as well. This is a very yummy option for animals. Animals like hens, chickens, pigs, um, a lot of fish farmers are also doing it. It's a natural delicacy for them, so they will not struggle to eat them. It's supposed to be for human beings, but when the source of the waste is not ascertained, then it's also hard to know if you're uh, passing on any E. coli or any harmful. But you can be sure that insect farming, insect production is the only way we'll be able to sustainably feed the future populations because people are growing every day. So we start getting used to the idea of insect farming. This is a container where you keep your waste and you ca just come and you scoop a little as you need. These are the pumps you use to spray some water on the love cages that I had showed you. Uh, so don't worry too much about it. When uh, it's mating time, the flies will look for each other mate and come and deposit uh, and in the hatcheries, which is the small bow sticks that you've put in there so do not worry it's not complicated we offer training at our farm model farm in kitangela you can always visit us no worries about that these crates are sold in industrial area 
can also get some for yourself. I should also let you know that this kind of farming it doesn't have a foul smell. I know sometimes people feel like the do's are icky and they might affect even how they respond to that type of farming, but it's just like chicken farming. Chickens also can have that ickiness, but follow the money. Follow the money, guys. It has potential to lift us out of poverty, out of economic dependency, out of desperation to dignity. And I enjoy, really enjoy, I can spend hours in my BSF Lavi farm because oh, just seeing the worms wiggle wiggling because they try to hide from the light and brow down into the waist <laughs> and then i keep turning them and they keep going down anyway so the structure should be made of insect net and should be very bright and light there should be a lot of light do not have a dark um a dark bsf structure so um have, make sure that it's made of light and yeah this is the future start now become an early adapter because eventually we will get into this kind of sustainable crop farming. Thank you guys. Enjoy the show. And as always, you are welcome for training in our model farm in Kitengang.